Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be testing an Amazon Poly Gel Kit from Renmol. I believe you pronounce it like that. And when you open it, it comes with instructions in six different poly gel. And that's pretty much it, so let's get swatching. The first color is scarlet, which is like a reddish one. The second is copper rose. Third is stardust. Fourth is dark burgundy. The fifth is white. And the last one is cranberry. That's what they look like after they've been cured. And I'm going to use the cranberry today. For my slip solution, I will be using 91% alcohol. And I already did my nail prep. And I also put on a peel off base coat. If you want your nails to last, you want to skip that step. For today's tips, I will be using the Una Gela that you can get on Amazon as well. After I picked out all of my sizes, I will be putting them on with some nail glue. Now that the tips are on, I will be using my tip cutter and cut off some of the length. Next, I will be reshaping them and take the shine away. After that, I will be putting on a thin layer of base coat to all of my nails and wipe off the sticky layer with some alcohol. As for the nail set, I will be recreating these lava lamp nails that I saw on Instagram from Maria Bello 13. I'm starting off with a bead around the cuticle area and I will be using my brush from Model Once and start patting the poly gel in place. Now that I did the cuticle area, I will be doing the same on the tip of the nail. Next I will be using my nail file and smooth the edges.
After that I will remove the dust and put on some top coat and cure for 30 seconds in my nail lamp. For the nail art I will be using the gel polish from Model Ones and mix my own color. I'm starting off with two dots and connect them to create a heart and then drag down the gel polish to create the lava effect. I will be doing this on the opposite side as well. After the nail art is done, I will be encapsulating the nail with clear poly gel from a card. And I don't know what happened, for some reason the tips of my nails got all those weird white spots. Um, but I was kind of able to work with it. I will be doing the same to all of my nails and the reason why I did my thumbnail first was because I wasn't sure if I would be able to get the same effect as she did because I believe she did those hearts in 3D and I'm really happy it worked out the way I wanted.
This is what the nails are looking like so far and I will be repeating the same step as before, putting some pop cut on and drawing the hearts. I've been really liking the poly gel so far. It's not as runny as other poly gel that I tried before. And you actually have time to pat everything in place without that the cuticle area is flooded. I would definitely recommend this poly gel. And it's really easy to work with, especially as a beginner like me. And I'm excited to try out some other colors of theirs. That's what the nails are looking like so far, so let's get shaping. After the nails have been shaped, filed and buffed, I will be applying top coat and some cuticle oil. That's pretty much it for the nail set. Let me know what you guys think and thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!